And on this Wednesday, Dr. David Graff from Animal Care Hospital in Blair's Ferry Road Northeast in Cedar Rapids is here. First of all, who do we have here, David? Her name is Joy. She's a year and a half old, mm -hmm. and she's at the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. She's been there for about a year. Okay. So she really needs a home. They have a special on Joy. So call them up. She needs a home. Yeah, definitely. So Joyce is kind of taking around the surroundings. She's a be beautiful in. kitty. She's young and she's uh, very nice. Yeah, it can still be full of energy as well at that age of a year and a half. Now, you want to talk about parval virus. I we do. see more cases of this. What I is do. this and what do people know about Th this? This is a disease uh, of puppies primarily. Mm. It can affect any dog of any age, but mostly puppies get parval virus. And it's a disease of the intestine where they get severe vomiting and diarrhea okay. and it is many times fatal so it's very preventable by vaccinating uh, puppies should be vaccinated uh, initially between six and eight weeks of age mm -hmm. and then they need boosters a month later and then again a month after that if puppies are protected by vaccination they hardly ever get parvovirus however unvaccinated dogs can get the disease because the virus is everywhere Many, many dogs have this virus that, and they're, they don't have any signs of it. Mm -hmm. So if your puppy is exposed to this at a park or a, a, uh, any, a, even walking down the street where another dog's been, it's very possible that they could contract this. And it's good that people know this because I think for those of us who are dog owners, and we might remember back to the, the puppy vaccinations and we see that parvovirus, well, what is this? Right. And maybe if we didn't get an explanation right. or didn't ask one, well, at least now we know what this is. is if, if there's a dog that might not have this, it still might be a, a puppy stage, and some of these symptoms come up, right. what, what, is, what does a human need to do in this right. spot right. here? Well, well, the signs are, first of all, severe lethargy. They're sure. laying around. Yeah. Number two, they don't eat. Loss of appetite. Number three, they start vomiting. And then number four, they start to have diarrhea. Mm -hmm. And if your puppy's exhibiting any of these signs, see the, see the doctor immediately. Uh, yeah. the, the treatment for, we've seen two cases of this in the last week. So the, it's out there. Right. It's, very, it's very present. So, and the treatment is um, hospitalization and fluid therapy. Sure. Because they either die from severe dehydration from the vomiting and diarrhea, mm -hmm or the virus will, will injure the lining of the intestine and the bacteria will enter and they'll die mm -hmm. from systemic bacterial disease. So there can be so, multiple negative so, results, it, certainly the, for something the, like the this. The take home message, it, this is very, it's a very fatal disease and it's very preventable. So make sure your puppy gets vaccinated. Thank you for the information. One more plug here for Joyce, Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. She's been there for a long time, about a year and a half. So if you're interested, reach out to them.